her late 40s, unemployed and from a small town in West Lothian. But her singing has got everyone talking. It is, of course, Susan Boyle who wowed judges on Saturday's edition of Britain's Got Talent. Her performance of I Dreamed a Dream has made her hit with millions around the world, including one Hollywood megastar. Phil has more. How old are you, Susan? I am 47, and that's just one side of me. You can say that again because it was when she opened her mouth to sing that Susan Boyle got the nation talking. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Britain's got talent, Britain's got a new talking point. I dream of love never die. This woman's voice wowing the judges, wowing the crowds on Saturday. That was stunning, an incredible performance. Even wowing Hollywood actress Demi Moore, who told the internet she was moved to tears. Since then, this video has been watched five and a half million times online, including once this afternoon by this lot, the cast of Les Miserables, where Susan's song originally came from. If anyone's qualified to judge, it's them. Well, it certainly says um, how wrong first impressions can be. It's all the talk in the wigs and dressing rooms, yeah, at the moment. Is it, has she got a thumbs up generally in the, in the industry? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. She's never done anything like that in her life. I think she was pretty incredible that she, she came across that well. For Susan Boyle, ending up on the stage here would be the ultimate prize. And when you think about it, it's not actually that far beyond the realms of possibility. For one thing, last year's winner of Britain's Got Talent, George Sampson himself, ended up on the West End stage. And for another, the producer of Les Mis, Cameron McIntosh, apparently saw Saturday's performance and he thought she was absolutely brilliant. So the original song has rocketed up the download charts, Susan is getting massive exposure and the great British public get to cheer on the underdog. Everyone, it seems, is a winner and the dream appears to have only just begun. Phil Lavelle, 5 News.